Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our video on PVT, pressure, volume, and temperature. And today's topic is about the specific gravity of solution gas. Okay, so we have our case here. We can read together. So separator tests were conducted on a crude oil sample. Results of the test are given below. So we have the results here, this table and we need to calculate the specific gravity of the separated gas. Okay, so as you can see, for the separator, we have primary separator, intermediate separator, and lastly, we have stock tank. All right, and this is the pressure. So the primary separation will be done in this pressure, 650 PSIG, and then intermediate. And of course, at stock tank condition, it will be atmospheric pressure and this is the temperature 150 for the primary separator 100 Fahrenheit at the intermediate separator and at stock tank condition 60 degrees Fahrenheit and this is the gas oil ratio obtained from the separation all right and after measuring the specific gravity of the separated gas we can have this result 0.745 for the primary separation, 0 0.950 at the intermediate separation, and at stock tank condition, we can obtain the gas with this one, the specific gravity. Okay, so we can calculate easily the specific gravity of the separated gas by using this formula. All right. Although it looks quite scary, but it is not actually okay and this is the explanation the explanation of each symbol so we can read this formula as follows this is the specific gravity of the separated gas all right and then we go first for the numerator this is our sap is this one the separator gas oil ratio in scf per stb I is the separator. So here we have two separator, primary separator and intermediate separator. So N will be two. Number of separators is two. And this one, the I denotes the separator. So I equals to one is the primary separator and I equals to two is the intermediate separator. And this one, is separator gas gravity all right gamma sep of i is the separator gas gravity of separator i all right and this one is the summation operator so if you have two separations you will have the primary separation plus the secondary or intermediate separation okay and then plus this one is stock tank condition the gas oil ratio from the stock tank multiplied by the gas specific from the stock tank. Okay, so for the numerator, it's quite easy. And this one, again, summation operator of the separator gas gravity of each separator. All right, and lastly, it will be added with gas oil ratio from the stock tank. Okay. So the formula, it's actually quite easy and you can understand it better while we are doing the calculation itself. Okay, so after the formula, we go to data. All right, so I've prepared the table. Separator gas oil ratio of the primary separator and then separator gas oil ratio in the intermediate separator and the gas specific gravity from the stock tank. All right. And this one is the separator gas gravity from the primary separator, gas gravity from the intermediate separator, and gas gravity from the stock tank. Okay, so we will list down the data. First, the GOR, gas oil ratio of the primary separator. We take that from this one, 725 standard cubic feet per stock tank barrel. And then for the intermediate separator, equal 205. 
And lastly, gas oil ratio from the stock tank is 60 SCF per STB. Okay, and then we continue with the gas gravity for the primary separator 0.745 and then intermediate separator and for the stock tank, I can easily do this. All right, from here. Okay, okay, so we have completed the data section. And lastly, we can calculate the specific gravity of the separated gas. Okay, let me borrow this formula. Okay, you can follow me equals, we will prepare for the numerator first. All right. First for the summation operator. Okay, I will do this. And then for the first part is for the primary separator. R sep of the primary multiplied by specific gravity from the primary separator. 725 multiplied by this number. Okay, and then I can plus like this one. And then this one. Gas oil ratio from the intermediate separator multiplied by this one specific gas gravity of the intermediate separator. All right, so so I can close for the first part, this one. Okay, and then plus this one. The gas oil ratio from the stock tank multiplied by the specific gravity from the stock tank. And then I will close. And I will close the numerator and then divide it by this one. The summation of the gas oil ratio from each separator. So it will be 725 plus 205 close to make it better, right? Plus this one, gas oil ratio from the stock tank. And I can close. So I have the numerator and the denumerator. Okay, so I can enter. All right, so the specific gravity of the separated gas is 0 0.821. All right, so it's very easy. So we can recap. So we get the data from the laboratory, all right, from each separator and also the stock tank. And I've described this formula. It looks quite scary, but actually it is easy. And I've prepared the data section, all right, to guide us to do the calculation. And lastly, we use this formula to get our specific gravity of the separated gas. All right, so that's all. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next PVT videos. Thank you.